There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before, or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull, beckoning towards something new. Some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself. Well, heck, let me take a look. Maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you haven't. Well, look at these. Oh, these used to be everywhere, you know that? Oh, folks did trade them on the regular. Used to have quite a collection myself. I got, I got them straight from the factories in five tropolis where they made them, you know. Mint in books. Of course, that was before the war. A lot changed that night. Oh, we're still dealing with the consequences. Yeah. Look around you, Missy. This ain't what things used to be. This ain't what things are supposed to be, either. The Queen. She distorted it all. Turned us from good, honest folks into... Uh, into whatever this is now. The most don't remember it. Only me, it feels like sometimes.
You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your out. Go away! Who am I? Who are you barging in here debating who I am? Oh, I'm even too. Even less interested in letting you in. Now leave! This is Herman's hidey hole! My little stowaway chamber, my realm of adlubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. It means something that's delightful, like my room here. I, I, wow, you really are just a kid, huh? Well, well, guess what? I myself was a kid once, Kid Herman, and now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. There are no... Oh, come on! There's got to be other spots. Go find them. Oh, for the love of... Uh, fine. Fine. You little... You little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. Now don't make me regret this, kid. I'm stowing away on a quest, see? And if the crew here gets wind of it, both our gooses will be cooked. So just sit here all quiet-like and don't do anything. Quiet, kid. I can't believe it. You're already breaking rules one and three. Yeah, look, I'll tell you what. Just hide between those boxes and don't make any noise. You want to know about me? Here's a deal. I'm off to find Miss Hudson, see? I'm headed for the cardmaker district, uh, Five Tropolis, or whatever the queen's calling it these days. And... Quiet, kid, or you'll ruin the whole thing. Just, just, just go to sleep, kid. I'll wake you when we're there. Well, the moment she'd let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Odd was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber.
Hello, Even. You're home. It's where you belong. There's no time. No time? No time. A wanna is a wanna. Is a wanna is a wanna. When you're right, you're right. Even. Come stay with us. Do you want some tea? Why do you need to see her? We've seen her before. Listen to your mother, even. It's a dangerous world out there. Listen to your mother, even. Stay here. It's safe here. We'll never leave you again. Not ever. Not ever, even. We'll always be here, even. You'll always be her, even. Her desires are odd. It's the only way she'll learn. Go. Even if you're lost. The Queen will find you. sight of Herman, she realized she had also lost sight of her last connection to home. Okay, still alive. Uh, I can work with that. As long as I don't land on water, I should be able to work with that. Uh, find time to remember I don't know how to speak. She hoped desperately that she'd land somewhere near Sixtown, but the wind and the fates had very different plans for her indeed. She couldn't yet understand it, but even had landed in the middle of something exceptional. These were the ruins of a time long past, and the magic she could almost sense in the air wasn't about to give up its secrets that easily. to come here in decades.
Um, I... are you okay? Are you... uh... Okay, uh, well, thanks for saving me back there. You were really, well, heroic. Right, <laughs> okay, talking to a dice. I better get going. You should too. This place is really dangerous. <laughs> Oh, um, I mean, I guess you can tag along. Uh, the more the merrier, right? <laughs> okay, even keep it together. You're talking to a dice now, even. And to yourself. Nice! Not a trap. <laughs> You don't just take things from people. Ugh, fine. You could hold on to them, I guess. Just don't digest them. Too. Yep, they're attacking. Oh! 
it was clear that these were no ordinary cards, and Dicey was no ordinary dice. Something extraordinary was awakening. was happening to her and her new dice friend. But she didn't need to, for there was another, more obvious truth that she understood completely. She was truly and inarguably kicking robot butt. Even and Dicey were moving as one, an unstoppable fighting machine. With each movement, the girl and her dice became more and more inseparable. team, and as long as I'm going to be talking to you, I should probably know your name. Uh -huh, right. Well, how about if I just call you Dicey? Perfect. Well, let's see if we can find a way out of this place, Dicey. 